Hello friends, and welcome to a look at importing pictures into OpenTunes. And that includes any version of OpenTunes, like to Homer 2D or Marevna. And at its core, importing images is pretty simple, but there are a few gotchas. So let me show you the simple case first, just adding an image and using it. So I've created a project and a scene here, and to add a photo, you just drag and drop it in from an explorer view. And this can be a PNG or JPEG and a few others. But just to be sure that it will import, rename it so that it doesn't include any numbers or an extra full stop, as OpenTunes uses those itself. But more on that shortly. So I want to import my picture of Churchill the dog. So you just click and drag until it's into your open scene. And then when you drop it, you'll see this pop up. And if you choose load, it'll just load the image from this location each time. And that means if you delete or move the image, your scene won't be able to reference it. And this can be useful if you're keeping all of your images together, or you're rendering the image to this location from another software. You can just update it here, and then reload the scene, and it'll use the new image. But the other option, import, will copy your image into the extras folder of your project. And this is the option I prefer most of the time, so that's what we'll do today. So if I open the Extras folder for this project, by going into the Project folder, and then Extras, and then choose Import, and you'll notice that your new image file appears in the Extras folder. So now you've got your drawing into your scene, you can resize it using the Animate tool at the top here. And for simply resizing, it's tempting to use the selection tool, but don't do this as it's a destructive edit. That'll make changes to the actual drawing itself. So unless that's your intention, just choose the animate tool and then change to the scale option and then click and drag on your screen until your image is the size that you want. There. And one thing to mention, sometimes because of the image's DPI, it can be shown quite small. And if this happens with your imported images, you can tick an option in the Preferences dialog. That's in the File menu, then Preferences. And then in the Loading section, and then if you tick the box, use Camera DPI for all imported images. And that might help. But for me, resizing with the Animate tool should be fine here. And this is a great way to import a background image. And if you're just going to use it as a background, then that's all you need to know. You can just select on the image and then extend the length of it to last the length of your animation. But there are a few gotchas if you want to edit the drawing, duplicate it, or add additional drawings. And that's what we'll cover next. So I mentioned earlier that if you import your drawing, it's copied to the Extras folder using the same name as the original file. But be aware that your raster drawing levels are also saved here, named with the level name followed by the drawing number. And this is so that when you add another drawing, it'll have a unique name. And in OpenTunes, this is called an image sequence, something you'll come across again. So, if I change the icon size just to be large, so you can see any new files being created. And if we add a raster drawing in OpenTunes, and I'll leave it named just with the default name of A, and you'll see a file appear in your Extras folder called A.0001. That's level A, drawing one. And if you're not zoomed in too closely on the timeline, you can see the level name and drawing number here. And then if you draw something else in the next frame to create drawing two, and then hit save all, it'll be named A.0002. And we'll come back to this naming in a second. And it's worth me mentioning at this point that for simplicity of this demo, to see just the files that we create, I've turned off the automatic backups from the preferences dialog. So what have raster levels got to do with imported images? Well, if we draw in the frame next to the imported image, it appears to have created another drawing in the Churchill sequence. 
so you can see it in the viewer, it's shown on the timeline, and in the level strip, it's shown as though it's associated with the dog image sequence. But the dog drawing was imported as a single frame, as it says in the level strip. So this really isn't an image sequence. And as soon as you hit save, you can no longer see your hand-drawn image in the viewer. And even though it's shown in the thumbnail in the level strip, you can't select it there either to draw over it. But it has created a file on disk, as you can see here, and it's named after the same level, that's Churchill, but it also includes OT temp 1, followed by dot triple zero one. And this is to enable the drawings to be saved as an image sequence. So if I draw another drawing next to it, and then hit save, this appears as drawing number two in the sequence. But now, because these drawings aren't really part of the sequence, if I reload the scene, by going to the recent scene file list and selecting on the scene. The drawing numbers are shown in red to indicate they're missing. And I've made a separate video about red drawing numbers that you can see in the card above and in the description below. We can fix these up here in a few ways. First, you can rename the files on disk so that all three files form part of an image sequence and then add them back into the scene. But the quickest way to add these extra drawings is to simply highlight the drawings that OpenTunes can't find, press the delete key to remove them, and then to drag in one of the temp drawings into OpenTunes, as this now forms part of an image sequence. So click and drag one of the drawings and drop it into the viewer. And you'll see now that this former temp sequence can be referenced by OpenTunes and used in the same way as any image sequence. So I can go to the following frame and then draw another shape. And now when I hit save all, you'll see that saved as image three in the same sequence. So that's a way to fix it up, but the best thing to do is to not do this in the first place. Consider that dragging in an image that isn't named as part of an image sequence is just adding a single image. And you should treat it as such by not trying to draw in the same sequence. So that's a quick look at importing images to your scene. And next week I show you a little more about image sequences and showing how you can import them from other open to scenes or from other drawing and animation programs. So I'll see you then. And that's a guarantee.